Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. Afternoon. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And uh, it's so beautiful. And uh, I was thinking maybe I should just enjoy this quiet time. So not going shopping, not going bicycling, maybe later. And uh, not rush to enjoy this sunshine, but uh, really just doing the most tedious things. And uh, be in this moment and read this beautiful book. Let's do it. So look at it. This is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay. Eyes on the books now. Okay. So, hello, dear friends. Uh, first, excuse me for um, for reading it under the sunshine. So. Uh, because I am just under the sunshine, so it uh, it is quite dark, but it is good for me. Maybe um, maybe you will see it quite dark, comparing with the sunshine place. It's just a huge contrast. Anyway, this is about a story, not so much about cinematography, right? Cersei, as soon as we sighted land, we made for it. We beached the ship and dragged it up out of the reach of even the fiercest wave. So we drag it out. Once the ship was safe, the storm abated. It was plain that this tempest had been sent by Poseidon. So the tempest, the, 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 the tempest, the storm was sent by Poseidon. As soon as they landed, there was plain and smooth, no problem. The, the reason is very, very clear because um, uh, uh, because uh, um, Odysseus has uh, plucked uh, the eye, the one-eyed Cyclops, and the Cyclops are the um, the the son of Poseidon is uh, Poly, 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 no, not Poly, Tell the Poly, Poly, Polyhemus. Polyhemus, polyhemus, poly, poly. I need to write it down. I am the son of a poly, uh, poly, 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 polyphemus, polyphemus. I write it down. P O L Y. Poly P P H E F M S M U S. I will not r forget it. And another thing about our memory, I have a lot of stories about uh, dementia, Alzheimer, and uh, and uh, and memory loss. There was a very inspiring story, and. Um, so I will talk about those a little bit later. Here I want to say is that our memory start to lose and it's important that we pay attention to things. There was one time I went with uh, my family to a place. My family drove and uh, parked the car and then it is... Uh, it was me to pick up the car. I totally, absolutely do not remember. And uh, on my way back, uh, on my way back to pick up the car, uh, I drop off my family. And uh, I put my key, bing, 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 and look around. And it took a lot of time, 
until my memory come back. So I was thinking, what is the problem of that? What was the problem of that? It was because I didn't pay attention. Then I could not remember. There was another time I want to remember some uh, shop name, Safeway, Knob Hill, Lucky, Elberson, and uh, Andronico, Molly Stone, Lunardi, Zanotto. Suddenly, I totally cannot remember this. And, uh, and just, just, uh, it scared me. So I searched online and searched a lot of time, finally got them. And now I try to remember it by writing it down, by repeating it several times. Polyphemus, Polyphemus, the son of uh, Poseidon Polyphemus, Cyclope, C L C Y C L Cyclo, Cyclops, Cyclops, Cyclops. So this way I will not forget it. Circe, C I R C E. So remember and visualize it. So the other time I pick up the car, whenever I park the car, take a picture and look around, first floor and 1C, 3F, and uh, it is close to the corridor, and there was one gate that looks blue, and I remember it. I tell myself this, this helps me to remember things. Anyway, Circe's, come back to Circe's. My men, my men, <clears throat> so they arrived into an island, they landed into an island. And as soon as they landed, the wind stopped. So there must be, this looks so peculiar, so bizarre, because uh, as soon as they landed, it suddenly stopped. It must be because Odysseus has done something that, that made Poseidon angry. What did he do make Poseidon angry? He said because he poked the one-eyed uh, giant, one-eyed giant, only one eye, and he poked. Of course, if it's, uh, it's, uh, it's me, I will be angry also. So Poseidon sent huge wind to the ocean so that uh, Odysseus will have a hard time sailing. My men sank into dark despair. They sat on the shore and wept, but but I am always cra craning my neck towards the horizon, yearning, yearning, yearning. Yearning, yearning for the place where the sea meets the sky. Look at the horizon. I decided I would explore this place to which our bitter fate had brought us. So he decided they landed on an island and uh, he decided to explore this place. I climbed a hill to survey the island. Not far from where I landed, there was a forest. There was a forest. In the forest, there was a clearing. Oh, must be a way, a clearing. I saw in the clearing a white palace of a strange design looks very strange, but this looks not so strange. It just looks so beautiful, right? He saw um, a palace. This uh, island was inhabited. There were people living here. 
Perhaps these people could provide us with some way to placate, to placate, to pla to placate, or outwit the sea god. Mm, maybe they can help us to fight back with the sea god and bring us back home. I ran back to the ship to tell my men what I had seen, but it was deserted. I found their footprints leading into the forest. I followed them into the clearing I had seen from the hill, but between the palace and me there was a pike, a pack of lions and wolves. So he was searching and uh, his men disappeared. It was deserted. And he followed their footprint, went to the same palace he had seen. I drew my sword and crept forward the first of them. So he, he crept the forward to the first of the wolf and lion. It was a lion. As I pr approached it, it closed its eyes, flattened its ears, and purred. <gasps> Whoa! It's cuckoo! I could stroke the velvet fur between its eyes. <gasps> cuckoo! It c no, Simba! Simba! Musaka! Yeah, this must be. No, moussaka. Not moussaka. Moussaka is a Greek food. Moussaka. Moussaka. I just cannot. Mu. Mufasa. Musafa. Mufasa. Mufasa. Musafa. Musafa or Mufasa. Lion Musaka. My family was eating musaka today. Mm. Mufasa. Let me check it out. Mufa. Mufa. Fasa. Mufasa. Musafa. Mufasa. Mufasa. Disney, Mufasa, yes, Mufasa. The Lion King is Mufasa, Mufasa. Yeah, he saw Mufasa. I could stroke the velvet fur between its eyes. It clicked, it licked my hand. Next, I approached a wolf. It rolled over on its back and showed me its belly to scratch. <laughs> Oh my god, they are cuckoo. <laughs> what kind of wild beast were these? <laughs> okay. When I reached the palace, I looked through the window. I could see my crew. They were sitting around a table, laughing and singing, eating and drinking as if they were home. So inside this palace, his crew was just having a good time. Oh, this beautiful, beautiful lady, Circe, out of the shadows behind, out of the shadows behind them came the mysteries of this place. Long-limbed she was. Long limbed, long arm, long egg, leg, 
and beautiful, beautiful, slender, yu shu lin feng, pale skinned, dark haired, and dark eyed. Ooh. She brought them cheese and wine and honey and barley meal. As they ate, I saw her take a wand from beneath her skirts. A wand from beneath her skirts. She touched each of them in turn. She touched each of them in turn. As each man was touched, he dropped the cup he had been clutching and stared at his fingers and stared at his fingers as they grew together. His arms and legs shrunk to stops. His belly swelled and his nose stru- stretched into a snoot. These were no longer men. For sitting around the table, I could see only pigs. So, Cersei used her... No, I'm telling too early. The lady clapped her hands, and the pigs flopped from their stools and followed her into the shadows. Now I understood... The lions and wolves had once been human. She had tested them. She had tested them and had found them wanting. Half of me was furious, the other half was terrified. I drew my sword, intending to rush in and attack, but then all the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. It is Odysseus. Is this Odysseus? Is he red-haired guy? Does not look like Odysseus. This is Odysseus. Odysseus is a black-haired guy. Could not be red-haired guy. This must be Poseidon. This is another character. Odysseus, this is a Circe. Okay. I knew this sensation. I knew this meant I was in the presence of a god or goddess. Sure enough, shimmering above me was the messenger of the god, Wing-heeled Hermes. Ah, I'm a shirlaila. This is Hermes. Mm. He was in, in the guise of a beautiful young man. Hermes. In my memory, Hermes running here, there, and uh, it's kind of a, an interesting character. Anyway, Odysseus. This is Circe. She's a woman of great knowledge and power. If you enter this place with no protection, you will suffer the same fate as all the others. But if you have the strength, but if you have the strength of character, to follow the instructions that I am about to give you. Not only will your will 
your crew be restored to you, but you may gain some of the knowledge you need to find a way home. So, um, so Cersei has turned all his men into swine, into pigs, which is quite true when a beautiful woman give a man uh, wine, food, and all the good pleasure, the man becomes pigs. And that is true. They do not... Uh, this is not true. This is a legend. Okay. Anyway, you, 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 you get the idea, right? Um, men or human beings are supposed to be suffer. Happiness makes us into pigs. Is this what the story is about? Or is this what Circe is about? Life is a circle. And, uh, and, uh, and we are all trapped into the circle of Circe. And we are all... Um, and our life is an incarnation of pigs. I do not understand. And I do not need to understand. Live my way. Eat less good food so that I will not become pigs. Visit the gods visit us in dreams and visions. Sometimes they tell us truths, but sometimes not. Sometimes they tell us half truths to betray us. I saw it happen at Troy. Hermes is not just the messenger of the gods. He also is the god of trickery and storytelling. But what choice did I have? I could not say you my ship alone. I need those men. Hermes, Odysseus with his sword. Hermes led me into the forest. He showed me a plant. Black of root, white of paddle, moly is his name. This, he said, would protect me against Circe's enchantment. He picked it from the ground as only a god could do. He told me to push, to push, push. He told me to put it within my cheek. I bowed my head to give thanks. Then I lift my head. I was alone. When I lifted my head, I was alone. Holy moly. So this is the story of holy moly. The flower of moly. Holy moly. I was shaking as I approached Circe's palace. She opened the door and greeted me, but I did not meet her eyes. I knew if I looked into her eyes for even a moment, I would be enthralled enthralled by her. She led me to the table. I ate and drank, but all I tasted was the bitter root of moly against my tongue. Holy moly. Suddenly, I felt something cool touch my neck. Circe was standing over me with the wind, with the wand in her hand. She gasped 
to see that her magic had had no effect. I leaped to my feet. With my sword, I struck the wand out of her hand. I showed her the sharp end of my blade and said, "You must promise there will be no more tricks, and restore my crew to their human form, or you will learn why. Why they say my name means trouble." So, with the holy moly, Odysseus was protected. Trouble, she said. One hundred years ago, there was a prophecy that a man would come who was worthy of the knowledge I bear. The prophecy said his name would mean trouble. You are Odysseus, Laertes' son, Laertes' son, and you are welcome here. I promise, I will only give you what you desire. She picked up the wand and led me outside into the fierce sunlight. She walked. To the pig tree, pig tree. She walked to the pig tree and touched each beast in turn. And as she did so, the pigs, the pig became one of my crew. On his hands and knees, guzzling acorns, guzzling acorns. At first. They were terrified of Circe, but when I told them of the promise she had made me, we returned to her palace. That night, she gave us a great feast. Once my men were asleep, she stroked my cheek and whispered, "Odysseus, your ship is in need of repair." Your sail is torn to shred. Don't go at once. Give me a little month before you sail away. A month, I said, but one month became three, then six, then nine. After a year, the crew demanded that we leave. Reluctantly, I went to Circe and told her. The time had come for us to voyage on. I asked her if she might know of a way to placate or outwit the sea god. She shook her head. I know who would have an answer to that question: the blind prophet Tiresias. Tiresias, she said, "Where is he?" I asked. "I will consult him." Her answer put a chill on my soul. Tiresias lived and died long ago. If you want to speak to him, you must sail north and north again until you reach the land of the dead. So,、uh, then the next story will be、uh, Odysseus in meeting Hades. So Odysseus have to, in order to complete his mission to sail back home to see his beautiful wife Penelope, his beautiful family, his beautiful、uh, kingdom, the. Isaka, Isa, Isik, Esika, Isika, Isaka. He has to sacrifice his own body. I mean, you know, a man sacrifices his body to serve Circe for one year. 
that is something quite interesting. This is very empowering for a woman to 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 have her view. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. To have her view fulfilled, regardless of... Uh, regardless of the man's view. <laughs> she is powerful. She is more powerful. Winner, winner. She's a winner. But anyway, that's the story of Circe's. Circe's. 